for the final trade of the day. We are bringing in Mike Shore of Prosper Trading Academy. And Mike, yep. I'd love to get your market perspective as we're starting a new week here. Yeah, so as we start a new week, obviously the fallout from Friday's job report is going to be what's on everybody's head. Do realize that the the Jewish high holidays start on Monday. Rosh Hashanah. So don't be surprised if volumes are a lot lower than normal. Largely was a really good jobs report. At least on Friday, it was largely discounted after about the first five minutes of trade. Taking a look at the small caps, the yes. Russell still hanging in there as compared to the global markets around the world and even the U.S. large caps. What do you see as support and resistance here on the Russell? So the Russell, what you're looking at support, 1693 quarter. So if you look at that, that's where the fight's going to be. If we get through that, watch out a little bit below. If not, if it bounces off of that, that is the market saying we, you know, we found support and we're going back higher. And then, of course, then you're looking at what 1740 for ish around for uh, that's going to be resistance just because it's it'll be new highs. Your trade of the day is CVS, so yes. you're taking a look at this retail chain that's a pharmacy. What do you Absolutely. see happening in the charts? So here, I'll give you two things that can happen. One, CVS has broken out at the end of the week last week. If, it, if it's there, it goes higher, I have a play that we can do. That I'm, For both of these uh, setups, I'm looking at October 5th weekly options. But if we stay here and go higher like we did on Friday, I am looking at the... Uh, 78 half, 80 half call spread, paying 50 cents for that. That'll give me a, re a risk reward of about three to one. So you have a call spread going here. Yep. And then your risk reward is looking pretty strong here. Very Mike. strong. CVS has been one of the strongest names that I've seen out there over the past few weeks. So if it does pull back, you can argue that that's a buying opportunity. So knocking down those strikes a little bit, going out to the 77, 79, knocking those strikes down, buying that for 50 cents, that's gonna give you that same risk reward, obviously. And you can argue that, well, the stock was on sale and we bought something on sale. Your group recently put a trade on in Wayfair. Yes, Wayfair. How's that going? It's going great. We have the October 140, 150 call spread. We bought it for $3. Uh, as, of, as of late, uh, it was trading a bit over $4 right now. So uh, on that trade, we can, lose, we can lose whatever we paid for it, which is three bucks, and we can make seven bucks. So that's, what? Two and a third to one. Mike, at this yeah. point, this is a prosperous trade for you. Yes. So would you put stops in here? So the thing is with, with options that's different than, let's say, trading a future or a stock is that the bid-ask spreads can tend to widen when you don't. There's really no reason other than just apathy. So you, could, you have to be very careful of putting on actual stops because you could trigger your stop order when you don't intend to. So what you need to do is have a mental stop or an, a stop on the underlying saying, hey, if we get to this level, I'm putting myself into stop order to get out of my options trade. So you want to keep, as the, as the trade's working for you and everything is still going up like it is in Wayfair, all you do is move that stop up there. It's called a trailing stop. You have some great trader lessons as always. Thank you so much, Mike. Yeah, thank you very much. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.